Today we had a number of experiments in the field where we showed we've been experimenting with aerobic rice and also delayed permanent water. So we had 10 of the current varieties and the new variety YRM70 in three replicates and we showed how they responded to no ponding, so aerobic being no ponding greater than 24 hours. It was quite interesting for the growers to see that. They found that it has grown quite well and but it's not as well grown and won't yield as well as a normal drill sown or delayed permanent water with flooding during the reproductive period. The most water efficient way to irrigate rice is drill sowing and then delaying permanent water as long as you can. So the, the shorter period of ponding that you have, the more efficient water use, but we still need to have ponding in our environment over the, the reproductive period because of our heat and, and cold stresses, which dramatically can reduce yield. In our environment, aerobic rice is not very feasible. We don't get the protection in the summer when we get extremely high and, and low temperatures and that greatly impacts yield. So aerobic rice, which is only um, no ponding of water, is not of benefit in our environment.